Okay, we're going to try to look at some uh, diffuse nebulae in the southern sky from the horizon upways uh, above the horizon. And we're going to use a uh, white phosphor Gen 3 unfilament image intensifier, which is what we have right here. Um, looking through a 4x 105, 108 mm f1.5 lens with a full aperture 12 nanometer, no 10 nanometer, sorry, H alpha filter on the front of it. And on the back end, a Panasonic GHS 5 camera. Looking through a 1x relay lens, and this is a real-time video, 30 frames per second. Uh, see, the shutter speed is 30, uh, 1 30th of a second, and the ISO is 3200 ISO. <laughs> a little stuck here. So we got some crickets in the background from my location near Mount Pinos, but I'm not at Mount Pinos. This little fuzzy thing here is in, I think, Scorpius. It, uh, I looked it up in my sky so far and it just says Bright Nebula in Scorpius. So you got the treetops, right? Some pine trees. Some sort of, I don't know if that's a tree or a pole. And then this uh, NGC 4628, I think it is. Or IC 4628, sorry. So if we go up, one of my all-time favorites is this thing right here. These little tiny patches. They look like four miniature paw prints. And that's the cat paw, also I guess known as the bear claw nebula, at 4x magnification in Scorpius. So that's a real-time view of the cat's paw. That's what it's called, the cat's paw. That's what I like. Kind of neat you can see in real time. And we can just scroll up here to some other unnamed nebula structure. And diagonally, if I just proceed upward, we get some probably star clouds of the Milky Way. This is grainy because we got lots of attenuation with our uh, hydrogen alpha filter. But if I keep swinging, there's more star clouds, I imagine. Keep going up higher and higher, and then we drift into uh, Sagittarius, and this really bright thing is the Lagoon Nebula, which typically is pretty, well, it's a famous nebula, and normally you see a little larger, but this is at four magnification. And there it is in real time blazing like crazy. And just to the upper right of it is that tiny thing in the center. That's the Trifid Nebula, in which you might be able to see a couple of dark lanes, not sure. But let's go from there even higher up in the sky in Sagittarius, and we find this little fuzzy blob is the uh, Swan or Omega Nebula which I like to call the half-lobster, half because it's missing a claw, but you can really, all you can see is maybe the head and the tail. Got a shooting star there. Perseids, I suppose. Hey, my handle just came out of my mount. Put that back in there. And if you go a wee bit higher up, next to that would be this other bright little patch. That would be the uh, Eagle Nebula, M16, where the Pillars of Creation are located. They don't show at this low magnification. I think they're pointing upside down, typically. But uh, there you have several nebula, M16, M17, the swan, I'm going to come back, star clouds, the trifid, the little guy, and the lagoon, the big guy. And if we keep going down back where we were, towards the horizon, unnamed, a cat's paw with the little uh, tiny paws, and then down here near the horizon, I see 4628 and trees. So there you have several diffused nebula at 4x magnification under dark skies in H-alpha with uh, Gen 3 white phosphor unfilmed night vision. We'll call that a wrap. And where's my button? Right there. Okay, that's it.